Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the iFlight Zing 22 3.5 motors. In this video, after quickly going over their features and specs, I'm going to bench test the 2500 and 3600 kV versions of this motor using my motor's thrust stand and then head outdoors and test out this new build which in addition to the iFlight Zing 22 3.5 motors features the Foxeer Reaper 4-in-1 ESC and the Apex Multiplex 5-inch frame. First of all, the Zing 22 3.5 motors are available with two motor shaft options. I've got the normal version and you can also get a version that comes with a 1.5mm motor shaft that is compatible with the mounted propellers. In addition, the difference between the versions is that the normal version is using a 16x16mm motor mounting pattern and the T-mounted version is using a 12x12mm pattern. The version that I'm testing in this video is available in two kV options, 2500 kV which can handle up to 6S batteries and 3600 kV which can handle up to 4S batteries, both when pushing 3-inch propellers. As for the motor itself, it weighs 22 grams including the full length of its 15 cm long 22 gauge silicone coated wires. The motor bell is secured using a hex screw. Inside the motor bell you can find 14 magnets. On the hollow shaft you can find an o-ring which is supposed to help with reducing vibrations and on the top side of the motor bell you can find a grip pattern for better securing the propellers. In addition, the stator diameter is 22 mm and its height is 3.7 mm. The next thing that I've done is to bench test the 2 kV options of this motor using my motor's thrust stand, but unfortunately I thought the 4S and 6S limitation applies to this motor when using it with 5 inch propellers, so as you can see in the following thrust stand, both motors were burnt when reaching about 90% throttle. In order to stay on the safe side, since in this build I'm using the 3600 kV motors and I tested it with 4S batteries, I decided to limit the motor's output power to 85% using Betaflight and I think that these motors feel a little bit underpowered for this build which is a little bit on the heavy side and I think that they are going to perform better on a lighter 5 inch frame and maybe even on a 4 inch or a 3 inch Cinewhoop. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video, and now I'm going to show the thrust test, which unfortunately is not complete since I only tested the motor using 5 inch propellers, and then I'm going to show the flight footage, which was not amazing because I'm a little bit rusty, so I need to get better. And as for flight time, I got about 6 minutes using a 1500mAh for its battery without the GoPro camera, and about 3 minutes including it. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.